So I'm human, you know? I'm a human being. And everyone deals with grief? Yeah, everybody, I didn't know I was grieving. If you'd have told me six months ago I was grieving, I'd be like, no, my brother just died. I wouldn't accept the fact that I'm grieving. I'd have been like, no, my brother just died. Six months after his brother's death, Stevante Clark says he's doing much better. He's going to weekly grief counseling and church a few times a week. But that doesn't take away the pain he still feels having lost Stefan. It hurts, you know, especially for my little sister who was there, who was five years old, six. She, you know, she she heard the gunshots. Stefan! Clark! Stefan! Clark! Stefan's name will never die. You know, he, when I, I sat at the funeral, he's going to live for generations. And, um, where they be through the library, the resource center. Earlier this summer, I ran into Stevante at one of the summer impact nights of Meadowview events, started by Barry Axius and other community leaders to bring people together in Stefan's name. It was great seeing the communities unite and come together. It's awesome, you know, um, the, the local actors have to get credit. Even as protesters gathered on the six month anniversary of Stefan's death, Stevante says his heart is also with Deputy Mark Stasiuk's family after he was killed the day before. The officer that, that passed away was murdered. Um, I feel for his family, you know. They'll never see him again, you know. That's the reality of it. And whether he was a cop or he was a human being, you know, so. We're praying for his family. The Clark family hopes it won't take another six months to get answers from Sacramento police. No matter what, Stevante says his brother's legacy will always live on. I don't think anybody could fight for my brother's name harder than me. So when they say my brother's keeper, I am literally my brother. Like, like I'll do whatever it takes to make sure his name doesn't die. In Sacramento, Francis Wang, ABC 10 News.